We thrifted this item for $30 and it just sold yesterday for $1,100. Here's Ali's reaction when it sold. <laughs> Such a good job, babe. So I'll tell you more about this item later in the video, but first let's go hit some thrift stores to see if we can find some more stuff. So with these shirts that are thrifted, this cool little one, this Lollapalooza, little Smoky Mountains, really nice dead stock Disney, the Simpsons one, and this was a garage sale find for a dollar. Anyway, with these items and a few other things, I scheduled a show, today's Cyber Monday, so I scheduled a little Cyber Monday show on whatnot, and I'm gonna sell all of these starting at a dollar, Let's see how much money we get. That cool tie-dye tee went for $10. That Lollapalooza was a loss. It only sold for $2, so we lost money on that. The Smoky Mountains only went for $4. The Disney 2000, that was a good sale. That went for $15. The Simpsons was also a decent sale. That went for $18. This was another recent thrift find, Scooby-Doo. That went for $11. Another really cool find, this was actually from 2010 and it still sold for $35. And then the Nike Center swoosh that we picked up at the garage sale for $1, that sold for $88. That was the best, best find, best sale on that one. All right, we're going thrifting today. We're thrifting. And what I thought is we might as well go back to the same thrift store that Allie found that mystery item crazy it's, it's still a mystery okay, item it's yes still a mystery. Right. that's the way you're editing <laughs> all they that. know right now is that we bought it for 30 dollars and it sold for 1100 dollars. but oh. they don't know what it is yet yeah we didn't even know if we should buy it for 30 because we didn't know if it was like real or fake or whatever but it's old it's good sold. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going back to that same thrift store let's go bye doggos goodbye zero goodbye mochi all oh, your face Bye, girl. <laughs> hey, look, the Hey Dudes have made it to the thrift store. Ooh, how trash are they? 20 bucks, oh, okay. Not bad at all. Okay. Do you know what the half off numbers are? Uh, let me get a look. Are these Sinooks? Yeah. Are Sinooks. Look at oh, these. Those are in excellent condition. Those are, look at these. Toy Story 4 Adidas. Whoa, I remember when they dropped these. Aren't those cool? I actually remember that. They are 30 bucks up? They would be 15 because it's half off red and okay. they are in really good condition. The pumps are around 40, so not yeah. terrible, but I'll put it here. Just, we might change our minds looking at listed versus Oh, Moschino. Moschino. Look at everything up before they put it on the floor. 45, that's half off though. I know. It's not bad. I highly doubt that this, it feels like a giveaway if you purchase X amount of dollars. Like a Victoria's Secret, if you buy extra lotions, True. they're like, we'll give you this bag. It's a cool little bag. You said blue stuff off too? Red, white, blue? Mm -hmm. This is Hoka Slides. Oh, oh, oh. Little, little gnarly. Maybe 10 bucks. It's a nice little pair of Solomon Gore-Tex boots. For, oops, <laughs> oops, 20 bucks on them. Not terrible. Look at that, looks nice. Ooh, ooh, can I have that? Yeah, yeah you saw it. I did see it. What's that one? Is this a new rat? It's a nice color for Orvis. Mm. 
Angry Birds. That's kind of cool. I I don't think so. I don't know. Yes? No? That Wrangler is nice too. These are actually really interesting. They're old Santa suspenders, but look on the. If you can see that. West Germany on the thing. Just Allie trying on pants in the middle of the thrift store. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> these are cute. Oh, these are little. Are they? Oh. They're very cool. Oh, they're my size. I guess this is my size. We need this for our dogs. <laughs> it's half off. It'd be 50 bucks. Nothing crazy, but we did get a couple things. Yeah, you know? a few items. I'm really interested to see how those Patagonia pants do. So I'm probably going to list them as soon as we get home. Yes. And background remover them or whatever yeah or not whatever <laughs> yeah who cares so i ended up listing the patagonia pants for 195 dollars i believe even though the retail price on them was i think it was like 100 bucks i don't know for some reason they're selling for a lot of money so there's two watches on them they haven't sold yet but we'll see what happens the icelandic wool sweater anything made in iceland seems to be pretty expensive. So we're hoping to get between like 60 and $80 for that. And then the vintage Chicago Bulls, like, what is this? Like a Jersey, Jersey t-shirt? I don't know, we'll probably throw this up on our WhatNot account and I would assume we'll get like 25 to 30 bucks for it. So we're gonna tell you about that massive $30 into $1,100 sale in just a little bit. But first we went to a really good estate sale this weekend. So here's that. Uh, it's early. Well, it's not that early. It's not that early. But we woke up early and we're tired. We're just tired because we went to bed really late last night because whatnot crashed and then we... It did. But we got it fixed waited. and it was fine. Yeah, we just got home very late. So uh, we found this estate sale and on the pictures, on the website, um, there's like records and Harley Davidson stuff and there's a closet with t-shirts in it. Eek. I can't see what the t-shirts are. So exciting but usually that's a good sign. We're gonna wait in line. So we're here early. There's only like five people in line. That's so great. Let's go do it. Let's do it, go, go. <laughs> it's jackets. Yeah. Harley jacket for $50. Sorry. Mm. Did you get that picture yet? How much are they? 12 and 10. Dang. And they match. Those are actually... They're really amazing. For us. I think this would be a coconut ship, right? Oh, no, that's too thick. It's wood. That's just probably like a soft wood. They're very Indonesian. That's cool. I like that. Wow, that's a nice view. <laughs> Dang. You know about these, right? The Starbucks location mugs? No, if you find certain them. ones, it can be like $700, certain certain Starbucks location bucks, because people collect them. Just because of where they're from. Where they're from, yeah. Whoa! Eight bucks is a Stelio. I know. It's so America. I know it's not perfect, but she put her heart and soul into it when she made it. I like it. It's so good. Wait, it's got the Patriotic Colors Blanket, twelve ninety nine. What? Still got the sticker on it, or the thing on it. <gasps> That's crazy. That's pretty cool. Do you know what that is? Is that a lighter? <laughs> yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Back it up. That's kind of cool. Dude, that's neat. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lighter. Look how cool this vintage light is for $15. Hangs on the wall. Look at that old plug. Does it work? Uh, oh, there's a switch right here. It'll definitely work. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Allie's obsessed. <laughs> Are those for sale? There's yes, they are. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess you didn't tag them. As far as I know, they are. They are at twelve dollars a piece. Twelve bucks a piece. Yeah. Um, I'll probably take those too then. Okay. I think we might so need a different screwdriver. Okay. <laughs> right. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, a little small Phillips. It looks like here you are. <laughs> Eat your lava oatmeal. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> The Beatles D sold 
on Instagram for one hundred and fifteen dollars. Wow! Nice little ten dollar estate sale find into one fifteen. Yay! So we picked up some really good Harley Davidson stuff too at that estate sale. All of these T-shirts were only two dollars each. This pullover as well, only two bucks a piece. None of them are super vintage, but they're all like good condition and good size. And all of these will do the same thing. We'll toss them up on our Whatnot account and we'll sell them for like starting at a dollar auctions. If you want to sign up for Whatnot and see our auctions, there's a link in the description of today's video. Come hang out; they're a lot of fun. Okay, so now the moment that you've all been waiting for, what is that item that we flipped from $30 into $1,100? Well, the first thing that I'll tell you is that it was a, it's what we call a long tail item. It took a very long time for it to sell for us to find the right buyer. We initially found that item in March of 2021. In fact, in the original footage, you'll see we're still wearing masks at that time in the thrift store. So that's how long ago it was that we bought that item. We listed it high. We got a few offers throughout the year and a half that it was listed, usually for like $500, which we declined because we knew that it was a special item. And then we eventually ended up taking an offer to a buyer in Canada for $1,100. So instead of showing you the item, here is the original footage of Ali finding this item at the thrift store. I guess it's mohair or something like that. This one's, this one's got us. I mean, I mean, we've seen samples and these are like sample packs. Yeah, sample collection by Carl Lagerfeld for Coco Chanel. Sample collection by Carl Lagerfeld for Coco Chanel and it has the little Chanel Paris New York tag on it as well. The only thing that's weird about it is that the tags are so like, they, they feel like so homemade. They're just like a laminated piece of paper. So there you go, that Chanel sample hat sold for $1,100. It is on its way through the eBay global shipping program to a new buyer in Canada and Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. That's it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's our best thrift store flip ever, actually. $30 into $1,100. I'm pretty sure that's the best thrift flip that we've ever had. Hopefully we get more like that. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this, and we'll see you on the next one. Later. Bye. Goodbye. 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 <laughs>